Using the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, astronomers have observed the glowing cloud of material surrounding a newborn star, encasing it in a crib of gas and dust. These so-called herbig harrow objects form when stellar winds and gas flows rise from newborn stars, causing high-velocity shock waves to impact the gas and dust from which the star was formed. This particular herbig harrow object, which can be seen dominating the bottom half of this stunning new JWST image, captured with the telescope's near-infrared camera NIR -cam, instrument, is designated HH-797. The stellar, cocoon, is located around 1,000 light-years away, close to the young open star cluster IC-348, which itself is situated at the eastern edge of the Perseus Dark Cloud Complex. NASA's web has revealed intricate details of Herbig Harrow Object 797, as seen in this stunning new image. Infrared instruments such as NIRCAM are perfect for studying young stars and studying Herbig Harrow objects because these cosmic bodies are often surrounded by remnants of the gas and dust from which they originally formed, which are different wavelengths of the light emitted by these stars absorb and block light. Infrared light, on the other hand, can shine through these cocoons. By looking inside the newborn star with its NIR cam, JWST has discovered molecules heated to thousands of degrees by shock collisions, allowing astronomers to determine the structures of outflows from young stars. Using ground-based observations, researchers have previously discovered that for the cold molecular gas associated with HH-797, most of the redshifted gas, away from us, is located to the south, while the gas blue shifted, moving towards us, is to the north. A gradient was also found along the outflow, such that at a given distance from the young central star, the velocity of the gas near the eastern edge of the jet is more redshifted than that of the gas at the western edge. In the past, astronomers thought this was due to the rotation of the outflow. However, in this higher resolution web image we can see that what was thought to be one outflow is actually formed by two nearly parallel outflows with their own separate series of shocks, which explains the velocity asymmetries. The source, located in the small dark region, and already known from previous observations, is not a single star, but a double one. Each star is producing its own dramatic flow. Other outflows are also seen in this image, including one from the protostar at top right of center along with its illuminated cavity walls. Astronomers also found that more gas is redshifted on the eastern edge of HH-797 than on the western edge.